Hey guys, it's Aiden here. Um, don't mind the messy desk, but this is gonna be kind of like an unscripted video, but I did just recently get this AC61M in. Um, I'm doing blind unboxing of it, so yeah, let's just see how that goes. I do wanna say shout out to Aeon Gaming, I believe. Uh, they did send me this keyboard for free for review, so yeah, I will be giving you guys my honest opinion on it and how I feel, you know, experience everything, just basically everything about it. I haven't opened this keyboard, so let's actually take a look at it right now. The box is very, like, very dusty. It's kind of picking up on my fingers. So we got, like, the introduction, I believe. Oh. Yeah, it's like the manual. That's pretty cool. Interesting. That'll come in handy for sure. I did get this keyboard with yellow switches, yellow data and optical switches, which I don't know anything about. Oh my god, wait, this keyboard is super heavy. Okay, well, there's a keyboard. We got some extra stuff. Whatever this white box has. We got a. USB Type-C cable, it's braided as well. That's pretty cool. And we got, you know, our usual keycap puller and switch puller. I would never use these, but you know, if that's the only thing you have, just use it, I guess. Key switch puller. Nice. And we got the keyboard. I believe it said it had an aluminum frame. I think. Or a limit, a limit case. Try to take a look. Ooh, oops, I bumped it. Oh yeah, no, that's that's aluminum. Wait, that's actually really sick. It's cool too because yeah, you got two USB Cs on both sides. Stabilizers aren't bad either. This thing feels so dense. It's so cool. Yeah, but the switches are super light. I'm not a big fan of super light switches, but I haven't tried the Gateron Optical Yellow, so I just decided I thought it'd be a good idea to try it, I guess. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to try this, honestly. But yeah, I'll... We'll go back to the regular review-ness of it, I guess. Yeah. Let's actually go ahead and plug it in. I'm gonna plug it into the right side. That's pretty cool. The LEDs are actually really like, like the RGB is really, it's also pretty bright. There's a lot of color to it too. Like my uh, NK65, that one is pretty dull on its colors. But this is, this is pretty cool. switches are so light they're very very light pretty cool though honestly and since this keyboard actually comes with an aluminum case it is better than a plastic case it's gonna feel more dense um yeah you can very much feel how solid or hear how solid this keyboard is and also i don't think there's any foam in the keyboard because while i do type it sounds pretty pingy but you know, you know, you can always just go ahead and add some foam or go ahead and do the tape mod as well, or just do both. And that will definitely reduce all the noisiness of the keyboard. In regards to the lighting, um, it is just the GK61 lighting system. So it is pretty standard, you know, got the wave effects, you got um, some reaction modes, a lot of ripples, and then you also have a microphone built into the keyboard, which is pretty interesting. In regards to the switches that are in this keyboard, I actually went ahead and got some Gateron Optical Yellow switches. I believe they have a 35 gram actuation force and the bottom out is a little bit higher than what a normal key switch would have. So it almost is basically like a Cherry Max Silver in a way. Um, it is very lightweight. I'm not a huge fan of very light switches, but this does feel very smooth as with all Gateron Optical switches are. So 
I wouldn't really worry too much about it. Although it is pretty rattly, so you might want to lube these in the future if that's something that you want to do. As with the stabilizers, they are plant mounted, but they do come pre-lubed and it actually sounds pretty decent as well. Um, I would still maybe want to lube and clip these or maybe even replace the stabilizers entirely, but I might do a separate video of how this keyboard would sound modded. So yeah. Overall, the AC61M has been a fun keyboard to use, and if anything, I would definitely say it's better than the GK61 or the SK61 since it comes with an aluminum case, which a lot of keyboards within this price range do not usually include. This would definitely be my go-to keyboard when it comes to wanting to try out some Gateron optical switches. They're very smooth out of the box, and they are also hot swap, there is, so there's no need to solder. This keyboard would definitely need some mods to make it sound better than it does, but that's very easy to do as long as you have the necessary materials. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching my review slash initial unboxing of the AC61M and I'll get more keyboard videos pumped out very soon.